Yeah, I don't know. I've been like making dub sets since like 1986, but I'm more into jazz lately, so it's. Oh, excuse me. It's my Antarctica. Hang on. Auntie. Gram Gram? What's up, guys? This is Lemonate. Today uh, I'm gonna be going over some cool vocal chop techniques. Here's a little preview of what we're gonna be making. And uh, let's get into it. Here's the sample, uh, completely untouched right here. Bring it to the party light. And this is, you can kind of hear snippets of it. So, first thing we're gonna do is just bump this up a few semitones. Um, we have our pitch right here just by double clicking on the sample. And under time stretching, we have our pitch. So let's bump this up, I think, three semitones. Bring it to the party light. And we're going to start cutting this sample up by uh, clicking the slice tool right here. Bring it to so we have our, our, right here it says bring, right here it says it, we wanna split those up. I'm gonna make sure that our magnet is on cell so I can get a clean, even cut. Actually, for this, since it's so small, we're gonna put it on half step. That way the bar's split up there and we can cut right here. Bring it to the, bring it, bring it. So now we have our two samples here. Bring it and we're gonna make these unique so that the changes that we make to the specific sample won't be applied to the other one. So for this sample where it says bring, let's go up here to the top left and hit make unique as sample and just save it wherever. And then double click on it. So now we have our own little sample and we can play with the parameters here to kind of tighten the, the sample up. So I'm just gonna increase the out parameter. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. So now you hear how it's much tighter. You can hear that as opposed to... When we increase the out parameter, it gets a lot tighter. So we're going to do that with every little part of this phrase here. So just cut out each individual sample. Bring it to the party. Bring it to the party. Bring it to the party. And then we're going to make all these unique. And basically do the same thing that we just did with that first sample. So for these last two, as you can kind of tell, they need to be um, changed up a little bit because they're coming in too early. So we want it right on the that hit of the vocal. So I'm just gonna close this off like that. And you can see just by looking at the waveform where we want it to hit. And then Bring it to the puppet. Bring it to the puppet. Just wanna make sure that it flows correctly. So you might have to do it a couple more times. Just so it sounds uh, rhythmic. So now we have that first section there, and you can do this with obviously any type of vocal sample. What we're gonna do here is um, put all the samples under the mixer to get this sort of delay effect. So once the samples are uh, in the mixer, to get that cool sort of delay robotic effect, we just use Effector which is just a simple tonal delay plugin, so a lot of DAWs have them. The one in FL Studio is called Effector. And uh, you can just hit it right here. It's under the delay reverb. And go over to the delay section. Turn the bypass off. And then the matrix, we want it kinda over here in the bottom right. Not all the way, but just sorta above here. And then increase the tempo a little bit. So now already you can hear how that has made it sound a lot different. From there, you can just go and mix it however you like or arrange it however you like. But that's how you get that really tight, choppy sound along with that cool delay. And uh, very easy to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And with that, I will leave you. If you are feeling this summer SoCal heat, make sure you have a drink like penguins do. On the rocks. Oh, 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 oh.